pass by with the speed of light and here we are in the month number five since my second hair transplant done in Istanbul at Vera Clinic. In my previous video update I promised to leave my hair uh, to growth for um, at least one month so this is what I've done. My current approximate length I would say it's approximately three four centimeters I think. This length uh, looks super weird to me especially here in the front uh, in the hairline because here the hair grows straight up and comparing with the rest of my hair yeah here it looks a bit unnatural but normally if the hair is longer it's covering this perfect transplanted hairline and it looks more natural i would say and i will put a picture which was taken hours before my second hair transplant which actually proves that um, so I will have um, I will not have my hair cut for another month and uh, let's see where it goes well I will share it together and we will take a look if this looks better or not now let's speak about what is expected in terms of the hair growth five months post-op um, in general According to the multiple sources, uh, at this point, approximately one third of the results should be visible already. So, I'm not even halfway to the final results. Yeah. And uh, maybe I will have a closer look. Speaking about the results, uh, this is how my hair looks like. And this spot here represents the original, not transplanted hair. And uh, converted to a Norwood scale, this would be number five. All the rest was transplanted here. A cumulative amount of 8,850 grafts divided in two sessions, done approximately two years difference, and both in Istanbul. Um, and by the way, these areas here, I have, I think I have a lower density than it was before the sur surgery. Um, I, I, I think here, I don't know exactly the reason, but I hope with time this will get back at least to the original density. If you know why this might be here, let me know. Um, yeah, of course, uh, there are other people which got better results at five month mark. Um, but this is not really relevant for me as everyone case is different um, Starting with the Norwood scale the hair density the donor area the quality of the hair transplant the post operational routine There are plenty of other factors which might affect the let's say the final results What is important for me at this point in time is to see an improvement from one month to another and to see how my let's say isolated island here it's getting uh, more and more uh, new follicles and it's covering up now as usual and as you want uh, we'll have a closer look at my hair in the direct sunlight but before that as i mentioned in the title of the video i have a question um as you most probably noticed, uh, YouTube took out recently, recently the dislike count on all the videos. And um, I, as also a big majority of you, think that this is a dumb idea for multiple reasons, which I will not elaborate now because this is not the point I want to touch on. Uh, what I want to say is that after this news, <laughs> I paid uh, kind of more attention to the like and dislikes on a few videos and I noticed a very interesting pattern um, namely that the, the video about hair, hair loss or hair transplant have less likes than any other videos um, I just want to find an explanation for myself uh, why this is happening uh, why you as a viewer are less likely to press the like button on a hair content video maybe even though 
it's you are watching it and maybe it's providing you some value um, so I don't know initially I thought that this is uh, applicable to the video content on this channel but after a bit of research I noticed that other channels or videos with similar content have a very low number of likes comparing with the total number of views or my time wrong what do you think yeah anyway let's wrap up let's finish the video as usual with a close loop uh, in the direct sunlight especially now uh, in germany it's unusual weather uh, and there is enough sun which is <laughs> really unusual anyway thank you and see you